And as we know, cats are a little bit more of a diagnostic challenge because they'll present with, with as we know, miliary dermatitis, and those lesions could be anywhere. And of course, with the eosinophilic granuloma complex, that also clouds the issue with cats. Um, you know, the good news is cats do tolerate our corticosteroids better, but we still want to treat them. And if I have an opportunity, especially in chronic cases, to get to the bottom of it and try to identify allergens, I think it's a better way to go. It's a more holistic approach to treating our cats as well. You know, as a matter of fact, when I see a cat that's coming in chronically several times, for example, during the spring and summer for their methylprednisone or depo injection, I'm going to start thinking, you know what, we've already ruled out everything else. Skin scraping's negative. There's nothing else I can really pin this on. It is seasonal. I'm going to want to test this cat to try to identify specific allergens and basically give them a better, more specific, holistic approach to treating this allergic cat.